Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Procreate Palette Capture. So I'm working on this lettering piece and now I want to add color to my words. So I'm gonna go up to the color panel and then I'm gonna to go to palettes. Now, if you're not seeing what I'm seeing, that's totally okay. You're probably on disc. Just go all the way over to the right and tap palettes. Okay, now what we're going to want to do is tap the plus sign right here. And as we know, we already have this feature, create new palette. If you tap that, it makes a completely blank palette that you can build yourself. Now, with the new Procreate Palette Capture feature, there's a couple more options we have right here. So we have new from camera. So if you tap this, you can actually take a photo with your iPad in real time, and Procreate will take the colors that are in the photo and make a palette out of them. Now I can't do that one right now because I'm set up filming, but feel free to play around with that one. And then we have new from file. So this is if you purchased a palette and you want to import it, this is how you do it. So just a quick refresher on this. If you don't know how to do it, you just tap new from file. Um, you're gonna want to look for a file that says dot swatches. That's gonna be the one that imports into Procreate. So I have my pumpkin spice palette right here. I'm going to tap that and see how it auto imported. Okay, so let's delete that one. Okay, now if we tap on the plus sign again, we're going to see new from photos. So I chose a photo of some fall leaves, a nice little landscape that I want to use those colors of the photo and make them into a palette. So I'll show you how that works. So let's tap this, let's find my fall photo and there it auto generated a palette from that image. So now what I can do is take some of these colors and use them in my artwork, just like this. So with palette capture, it's really fun because if you find a photo that really fits the theme of your project, you just grab the colors from that photo, just like this one. And that is all there is to it. It's a great new feature. Um, it's super fun for playing around with different colors. And then it also just makes things a lot faster when you're doing themed projects like this one that's very fall themed with a lot of oranges and browns. Um, it just makes things a lot quicker. So thanks so much for watching.